So we now have the worms in the worm farm with their bedding. And that's more than plenty to keep the worms nice and moist. Hello and welcome to the Australian Worm Farm. My name's Peter and today I'm going to show you how to add an extra tray to your stacking worm farm. So we have here an Australian made worm castle worm farm which is made from recycled plastic. Um, it's a brilliant worm farm for beginners or for anyone who has a courtyard, a balcony or a small space where you want to do some of your own composting and recycling your food waste. It's a nice light colour and it's a really easy one to work with. However, this video also applies to other stacking worm farms that you may have at home. So, as you might have seen in the last video about the setup, we set it up just with an initial one tray, which is going to be your bottom tray, and it's now time to add a second tray. Now, to check whether it's time to add a second tray, we need to look inside the farm. So I lift the lid, you have a dry worm blanket on top, and below that, you have the moist newspaper, and we lift up our bedding, and you can see that the bedding is up to the ledge that goes around the top of the worm farm. So it's now full enough that we can add our next tray. The reason that we add the next tray only when it gets to such a height is because compost naturally loses 70% of its volume over time. The trays in the worm castle are designed to sit straight on top of the bedding in the tray below, which allows the worms to circulate into the next tray when they want food or down to the bottom tray away from the heat. So, it's a very simple process. We add the next tray. The food scraps to entice the worms up into the tray. And as described in the feeding video, we put them in the corner of the tray. I have some compost as well, which I'm going to put on top of the food scraps so that they're well covered and they don't attract any flies. You can also use coconut coir, which is made by taking a brick of the coconut coir and placing it in a bucket of rainwater and it becomes a fluffy material you can use as a bedding. So for that reason, some people buy extra coconut coir when they buy your worm farm. Then we repeat the process we did at the beginning. When we set up the worm farm, we place the paper over the top of the bedding. This helps to keep the flies away from your worm farm. Put the blanket on top. And then we add the lid on top. You've now added your second tray to the worm farm. Repeat the process again when your second tray is full for your third tray. And at that point when the top tray, your third tray is full, it's now time to start harvesting. 